Hello guys, welcome to Rags and welcome to another interesting tutorial here. So in this session, we're going to talk about um, how to create a simple uh, track for your car race game or something. Go to Curves tab and take this for a third option here, which is called EP Curve Tool. Either you can take this one or the next one, which is your uh, Pencil Curve Tool. So I would prefer EP Curve Tool and uh, go to the top uh, window, top view. And just uh, I'm just going to create some random circuit like thing yep and yep that's it so i have created a simple uh, curve like this and uh, in order to create a, a proper a lap system we need uh, you, we need the curve to be closed so right now you can see the number of spans which means the number of control vertex is actually 16 and the curve is an open curve so i want it to be closed so in order to do that uh, make sure you're in the surfaces um, tab and go to edit curves and here we have an option called open and close curves so select the options window and make sure the option is in blend and the 0.5 is an ideal value and just click on open and close so right now you can notice that the curve is closed right so uh, you can also see here that uh, from the uh, from being an open curve, it has changed now to periodic curve, which, which also means that it's a closed curve. Great. Now, uh, mm, select the curve here, and um, I want another uh, parallel curve to, you know, uh, to uh, make a surface. So, you can do that in, you know, like, in a simple way, like, let me just do a control T, which is duplicated, and if you just scale it out, you can notice, like, uh, at few portions it is uh, broader and a few portions it is um, very thinner so you can notice these portions and all which is not an ideal way to do it so the better way to do this is we have to offset the curve so go to edit curves again and go to offset and select this option here called offset curve the first one so just click on the options window and maybe you can just reset the settings and uh, I would prefer geometry average and offset distance I would um, let's see how it looks when we have one as value and I want to switch off the connect breaks and switch off the loop cutting and um, I would prefer yeah, I think one zero is enough and I don't want this also to be more so just make the values as zero now let's see how it looks in uh, when it when the value is one so apply and yeah that looks pretty good maybe if you want it to be more you can just change the value to two or something yeah, that looks well as well. Maybe uh, I would prefer going outside so I can change the value to minus two and it gets offsetted outside the original curve. Yeah. Now uh, let's check this. So the number of spans is 16 and the number of spans is 16 because we need to make sure that both the curves have the same number of spans. And right now, I want to um, increase the uh, spans so I'll tell you why we need to do that. So when you select this, both the curves, go to surfaces and loft tool. And uh, I'm gonna have everything in quads, general. Okay, all the values is fine. So when I loft it, you can notice that it has hard edges here. You can notice it has hard edges. So that is the reason I, uh, I want to, um, I want to um, make the number of spans a bit more so that you can have a very smooth curve. So go to edit curves, select both the curves and go to edit curves and rebuild the curve. And yeah, 50 is an ideal value. So make sure it is in uniform and uh, zero to one or keep both are fine. And I'll just prefer keep here. And uh, three cubic is a value, there is a degree here. And just rebuild now. And you can see it has created a really smooth uh, curve here. Okay, um, I'm just going to delete the other one. Yeah, I think a duplicate got uh, created there, so I don't want that. So right now both are um, uh, 50 spans. Now we can go to surfaces, loft tool option, and make sure it is in uniform, auto reverse, cubic, and I don't think we need uh, more number of section spans here. So you can either go for NURBS or polygon, if in case you're using polygon, prefer quads and general and make sure you have the options as uh, the third one, uh, per spam, uh, number of uh, ISO params. So the third option here um, and that's it. So and make sure the value is 
three in both uh, U and uh, V direction. Now let's hit apply and that's it. So we have a really cool track system here. So that's it for this session guys. So I think uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we have created a simple uh, track system. You can either have a, um, you, you can just have uh, any type of track of your own. So um, I'll just catch you guys with another interesting tutorial in the next session then. So if in case you like the video, just don't forget to uh, like it and don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe for the channel. See you guys then. Bye-bye.